Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and uh, today I'm going to share some of the tips and tricks which you can use while you're working with 3D Studio Max. So I've seen a lot of people who are uh, working with 3ds Max and really get, getting frustrated while uh, going through long procedures. So uh, once you watch uh, my this series of tutorial based on tips and tricks, uh, I assure you that uh, your work is going to get a lot more easier unless uh, you were already using this technique. So. <coughs> So I highly recommend that you watch uh, my previous tutorial uh, which is based on the same title and uh, this tutorial, by this tutorial I'm going to wind up uh, the tips and tricks. So uh, let me get into the next tip that is the isolation mode. So, <coughs> so I'm going to use uh, whatever tips which I have previously explained in this tutorial to while I'm explaining this isolation mode. So let me just create uh, another box so let's f just for the sake of uh, explanation so let's just say that uh, you just want to work with uh, let's just say that you want to uh, work with this particular vertex of this object here and uh, you cannot simply you know you really have to uh, hide this object or you really have to select this and select the uh, hide the unselected so basically what people do is uh, select this this is the easiest way uh, of doing this unless you're not uh, you know going for the isolation hotkey so hide unselected so if you click this everything gets hidden and then you can go over here you can press uh, the vertex mode and you can start off uh, you know, working with it <coughs> so you can do whatever and then right click and hide all so there's really another way of uh, doing this so you just uh, this is very simple so keep this in your mind select the object and just press alt Q once you select that what happens is everything gets hidden and the object is getting zoomed so it does two functionality so once you start working come on let's uh, let's work a little bit with it so I'll just press 1 and let me select the square tool and so whatever hotkey I'm using was explained in my previous tutorial so if you haven't watched my previous tutorial then uh, you might be wondering what I'm doing right now. <coughs> so in this way you can uh, you can really work with it and once you're done just press the Alt Q button once again and all your object comes back at the right positions. So this is called as the isolation mode and it's really helpful while you're working with 3D Studio Max. So <coughs> another uh, thing which I wanted to show you is uh, when you are in the sub-object level so say you are selecting these two vertex so again <coughs> you can press the Z command for uh, you know getting the zoom and uh, again you can press the Alt Q for isolation when you are inside the vertex mode <coughs> again press Alt Q and you get back all the objects so another uh, thing which I want to explain you is a see-through mode so you got a sphere over here and uh, to really do the see-through you really have to go to the object properties so I'm going to the object properties and you have an option called a see-through once you click on that uh, you get the see-through mode in which you can see whatever is there inside so you really don't have to go to the object properties and all so let me just uh, go back once again object properties and uh, okay you're back so you simply have to press one uh, what do you call the hotkey that is alt x and it becomes uh, see through and alt x so this is really fast and it's really helpful too so try this out
and if you really cannot remember whatever I'm saying you can always uh, note it down somewhere and uh, once you uh, once you uh, practice that for two three times uh, when you're working then you will get the habit of uh, you know using the hotkey itself rather than going to the uh, uh, you know uh, the options <coughs> so another option which uh, everyone knows is the control Z uh, which undoes uh, your last activity so there is another option to uh, undo your uh, what do you call the uh, viewport change say you're uh, over here if you press shift Z uh, hold on a second so you're somewhere over here so you press shift Z and you get the last uh, viewport change so I'll just move my viewport here shift Z and I get back here so <coughs> let me just explain you that I'm in the top view so I just move a little bit uh, somewhere over there and I want to get back to the uh, initial whatever uh, viewport change that I made shift Z you press and you get back so uh, say I was uh, in a you know zoom to a particular sub object level and I have moved it by mistake just press shift Z and you get back so this is really helpful <coughs> and uh, <coughs> the last thing which I want to show you is the walkthrough mode so uh, I hope the people who are watching this video might have definitely uh, played games <coughs> so uh, the walkthrough mode you have here really helps you to see as if this is your face and this is your head and uh, you're really seeing uh, let me just uh, see on my right side who's there right left so this is really like uh, your you know you're really going and you're really seeing so this really helps when you're uh, you know <coughs> uh, designing some uh, the game environment or something so you can really try this uh, the walkthrough mode so that completes uh, the a set of tips and tricks and uh, this is what's there in my mind right now and if at all I come across some more of uh, what do you call the some more tools uh, some more tips and tricks I'll definitely update so let me just uh, I guess I remember one more so I'll just go to the sub object over here so so I'm really sorry for that uh, interruption <coughs> So let me just explain you that really fast. So say I'm at this particular sub object level and uh, if I want to hide this particular uh, sub object I cannot really hide it if I'm using the hide selection it does nothing. So you can really uh, go over here under the edit geometry you have an option called as the height selector. So this is the way you can hide uh, the sub object level things and once you're done you can unhide all and everything comes back. So this completes the uh, you know set of uh, tips and tricks which I wanted to uh, share with you guys. So uh, I'll definitely update and I'll definitely keep posting more and more tutorials which is really going to be helpful for your projects and uh, your works. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, comment on my video and uh, let me know if you're getting any doubts and let me know if you really need any tutorial on any, uh, any particular subject. Thank you.